What is going on, everybody? This is the uh, sorcery, sorcery restock. So I found one that had like a nick in the box, and I think it's this one. Oh yeah, it's, there it is. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into some sorcery today. Let's set those aside. And as of course you can see the Donnybrook in, I do have a, a Donnybrook mat in stock. Um, they are very hard to get, they're very rare, and uh, if you want it, reach out to me, but keep in mind, it's going to be pricey, so it's, it ain't going to be cheap, so if you're looking for a cheap Donnybrook mat, I can't do that for you, but I can get you one, if you're like, I gotta have it, so, topper, I'm going to start from the right again, like always. Man, let's see what we get today. Is today the day we'll get a curio? Is today, ooh, Lord of Unland already. <laughs> Hello, okay. We got one coming in. What do we got? Flanking Maneuver. Okay. Oh, get a couple of these sleeves to lay here. Very good. Looks great. So the first pack had a unique and a foil right off the bat. Airship. Bone Rabble. Dwarven Forge. So what are the singles prices doing on this stuff? Singles prices are kind of steady, steady drifting down. As you know, a lot of people who are looking for their collections have kind of filled up their collections. Um, a lot of people building their decks have built their decks already. So I think, you know, I've seen a lot of new folks buying uh, coming into the game. But in terms of, uh, you know, the, the big spree we saw a couple months ago, things are... Ooh, sister's foil. Very nice. Um, things are obviously slowing down a little bit, and it's to be expected. Um, you know, I I think the print runs are, are right. I think the print runs correct. Um, I think they're really funneling everything through one vendor to control that, right? A one trusted vendor to make sure that the print runs. Ooh, Guile Sirens foil that the, the one vendor controls the print runs and, and helps to ensure that nothing's dumped, um, nothing, nothing, you know, nothing shows up somewhere. So, I, overall, I mean, you kind of expect to see the drift down in pricing, and that's normal before it starts going back up. So I've been, I've been really happy with, um, with what I'm seeing. Obviously, I'm, I'm still buying. Um, I, I am holding a sizable con uh, position of sealed product as well. It is sizable. And I'm considering doubling it. So, uh, the product is just too good. People are going to be like, hey, remember beta? I want to be open some of that. Like, it's going to happen. Cyclops. The buffs. Okay, oh, we got the court jester. He's he he doesn't come around too often. He don't come around too often. Step. Scorched earth. Very. You see, with foil, you can really see the art on some of this darker stuff. Burry. Berry, Burry. As of yet, nothing crazy. Sisters is good, but I need a hugely played card. Far East Assassin. 
Okay, we see a foil here. What do we got? Looks like a um, curse, Mariner's Curse. Looks like a sunken treasure. Oh, sunken treasure. That's not the one you want to see there. Treasure ain't the one you want to see. That's for sure. It's a beautiful card, don't get me wrong. Ultimate horror, nice unique coming in. Sedge crabs. It is an absolutely beautiful card. Oh, nice maelstrom. Another unique coming in. That's, ooh, oh God. It's a ruby core, guys. Oh. My God. <laughs> that's how the game is turned. Holy cow. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm gonna gently put that away and take a quick peek at this because it ain't every day you see a foil core showing up. That ain't every day. Holy cow. And I did need this one too. Beautiful, beautiful foil core. Right now, we're looking at about two hundred dollars or so for this. Prices are drifting down. They're gonna get, they're gonna drift down before they drift back up. So it is very normal. And uh, I am, I'm actually gonna put it in something like this because I don't want to mess around with this one. The foil cores I do plan on sending to grade. Um, It'll always definitely be, this is like a collector's piece here. Anybody that's trying to play with a core, you know, you're, you're out of your mind. Out of your mind. Well, we'll leave it here because it's a video. I mean, I play with some foil mixes, don't get me wrong. They're in my deck. But I ain't playing with no foil core. That ain't happening. They're just too rare. We got Dwarven Forge again. Double tap on the forge. I'm starting to wonder, is that an omen? Is that an omen? Foil cores used to be up in the uh, threes, and I think the amethyst still is, but the ruby is drifting down. Muzzle. And uh, again, some of it has to do with demand. The card prices are just too high. That Some of the big collectors are you know, already already filling up and and they purchase them and such and as new people enter the game they're going to collect it and the you know they'll have money and it'll it'll eventually push it back up but prices are drifting down just simply because of demand not because of supply so um which i'm i'm not concerned by any of that at all now is actually a, a good time i think to buy if i i almost pulled the trigger on a foil ruby core for uh, 177 dollars um, but I thought well there's a chance I might pull one um, so uh, at some point again they're gonna start ticking back up all right so let's keep going here holy cow holy cow sort of we pulled a lot of assorted animals already today Trojan. Lord of... <laughs> Doubles on the Lord of Unland. Crazy. Crazy. Barry? That doesn't even... Remember that one box we had two Pathfinders, two Packs of the Devil? Now we're getting two Lord of Unlands. Like, that's, that's wild to me. Seven League. Okay, good pull. It's a movement plus seven is just a crazy card. You can put it on an avatar with a poisonous dagger and just have the avatar go around the map, just around the realm, rather, killing people. Okay. Court, another du duplicate on that one. Pit vipers, cauldron crones. Crazy on the duplicates here today. East West. Okay, we got a foil coming in. What do we got here? This looks like a fireball, maybe. 
please. Okay. Okay, two more foils, and I think two more uniques. Mix air. Nice pull there. Another foil. What do we got? What do we got? Wayfaring. And this one also feels pretty good. Anything that allows you to draw is pretty good because there's not that many drawing capabilities outside of your main step. All right, let's keep going here. Mega. Oh, and this is, might be our last foil. Looks like a root spider. Oh yeah. So, nothing crazy on the foil outside of that ruby core, but the ruby core is just, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's just craziness. So we're done on foils. Okay, Mirage. Unless we can pull a nice uh, curio. Give me that curio. Falconer. Shrink. Shrink seems pretty crazy. Like, can you use that on an avatar? It's a unit. It says until unit to zero. Can you use that on an avatar to get him at death's door? I, I don't know. It seems also pretty crazy. Okay, we're, we're down to like three packs or something and we're not getting a lot of uh, our uniques unless they're gonna be stacked at the back. Okay, a tadpole pool, there we go. That's one unique there. Swamp buffs. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Always, always a good day to pull a crusade <laughs> and uh, and uh, you know open some sorcery. So what another good pull. It's a great, uh, great unique to end the video. That's like a thirty, thirty-five dollar pull right now. Thirty-five, I think. So that's uh, one of the mean cards. For a while, I was having a really hard time pulling crusade, and I just just pulling tons and tons of jihad. And uh, then it switched, and I have like a hard time pulling Jihad, and I'm pulling Foil Crusades, this and that, all over the place. So, again, thanks for tuning in. That's all we got. We don't believe we got the Ruby Gore. Um, thanks again. Check out my next videos, other things going on, and uh, like I said, if you want that Donnybrook mat, reach out, but it ain't going to be cheap. Talk to you all later.